right, guys, welcome back to the Swill Entertainment Channel. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to do an almost full review of the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. Now, we did an unboxing for the phone, or actually the watch. It might as well be a phone, so watch phone. Um, so we're going to go ahead and knock that out really quick. So these guys have some more features. I was able to use this thing for a couple days. All right, so of course with your phone, you got the nice little pretty box here, which is always good. Samsung always doesn't. They, they, they don't cease to amaze me with the uh, their stuff as far as their boxing. Of course, you got the little band, little small band. So if you got the, got the little small tiny wrist, then you can go ahead and switch out the, the uh, bands. Now, you can also customize your bands however you want. If you, I, I keep the default one, but I'm going to look for some other uh, type bands that I can switch out ASAP. Okay, um, You got your little wall plug, which is pretty cool. It's black. Um, you have your, your, little, your little books here health and safety warranty guide you got your little quick start guide so if you guys like to look at that which a lot of people don't look at the instructions anyway they just straight up open the, out the box and they go they make sure everything's charged up and they go that's how i am uh, the only time i look at the instructions if i'm running i have some kind of trouble or something like that you got your charge charging cable which i have not used because i don't need it i have so many extra charging cables anyway so i didn't even bother opening that one up right now um you have the charging um platform there as well so whenever you want to charge your phone you just put it on, take it off, boom, ready to go. Just like that. It's going right there. It's letting you know that it takes 51 more minutes for me to charge it full. I'm at 66% right now. All right. So also, I mean, I have a Samsung S, uh, S7 Edge. I haven't really upgraded to the S8 Plus yet. I'm still on the fence with it right now. Um, my S7 Edge is working just fine right now for me. So it's not really a, a deal that I need to do right now. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys an app as well. So you have to definitely download the uh, Gear S3 app, which is orange, and I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment. Okay, but let's go over a couple different things that you have on your watch. All right, let's go ahead and take it off the case here, and I'm having to do this thing bootleg here because I don't have a another camera. So let's go ahead and get them unlocked, and we'll go from there. All right, so of course you have the beautiful face here. Uh, you got the little bezel, um, you got apps, you got S voice. Oh, it keeps on locking itself. I don't understand why it's doing that. So I need to probably go into the settings or something like that. Uh, you can make phone calls, you got your settings. Let's go into our settings real quick. Now you got your style. You can go for your watch faces. Now you can do this from your phone or you can do your watch faces from your, your watch. Um, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks better on your phone though, on the app. So you can actually just go through here. Go through all the little types that you have. Uh, that's the form one. Uh, if you don't know how to read uh, analog, you just got the digital. You can go with that. It takes just moments just to do that. And that's your watch. All right. Um, hit your back button, which is the top. The bottom button is the power button. So if you want to turn your watch off, you just uh, turn it off that way. All right. So let's go back to our. No, it's not that way. It's not where we want to go. So let's go our settings back to our style. And you have so many different faces, guys. It's unlimited. Like, I don't know how many they have, but they have, like, too many. Um, this is the Frontier. Um, you do have a classic watch also. I'm um, just, this camera, I'm not a good camera person, guys. I suck at the camera. All right, so this is the stylized one. Uh, just go ahead and select that one. And your watch changes instantaneously, guys. That's what your watch is going to look like. All right, so let's click OK. And that's what we want. Boom. Just like that. All right, you got your gallery, you got photos. Let me see here. Let's go back to our settings again. Um, you got your sounds and vibrations. So if you want your phone or your, your watch to vibrate and have sound at the same time, you're going to have that. Um, for calls and notifications, you have your sound, you have your volume. So if you guys are working out in the gym, like I do occasionally, you can always turn that volume up. And everybody's going to be like, what? What's this guy got going on? You know what I mean? James Bond style, guys. All right, and that's the ringtone right there. Now, you have your uh, your vibration and intensity. So if you want it strong, it's, it's already good by itself. Um, you can do strong, light, however you want to do it. Um, you got the long buzz for calls and notifications. You got your ringtones. All right, so if you got a down, you can download them from your phone or you can download them from your watch. You got different ones. All right, so if you want to check them out, 
There you go. You can just check them out like that. Me, for my notifications, I want something small and to the point. I don't need all this extra because it gets annoying after a while. I don't need music. That's pretty cool. That's annoying right there. I like the glass one, but let's check out these other ones. I haven't heard them yet. That would be annoying. I just need something that says beep, beep, or something like that, and that's it. Glass. That works for me. All right, so that's what I'm going to keep it at. Um, you got your ringtone vibrate. You got basic. You got cricket. You got march. You got TikTok. But again, those vibrations will get, they'll kill your battery, and they're pretty annoying. So I'll go with the basic. I'll keep that right there. You got the notification sound. Flicker. You got chirp. That's not bad. So we'll keep it on that. I like beep. Beep is cool. That's a cool one. Uh, notification, vibrate. You have basic. You have touch sounds. I guess once you touch it, and it makes a sound. Uh, you have your device itself. Um, you have S voice, which I never really use S voice, so I'm not going to start now. Um, you can tell it to call a certain person. You can do that. You got touch sensitivity. So if, like, if you wear gloves, um, you could change the sensitivity. So if you guys work out in the gym, you guys using gloves, stuff like that, you could change the sensitivity for that. So let's go ahead get out of that. Do not disturb. You can turn that off or turn it on. Um, open all apps. You got your date and time, which is already set. I can't really get into it. Um, you got your display. You got your brightness. You got I got mine at 10. Uh, you got auto low brightness. You got screen timeout. I got mine for five minutes. Um, yeah, five minutes works for me. Uh, let's see here. Also, you can do your, your calls. So if you want to call certain people, you can do your call forwarding. So if you, of course, my watch, I don't have the um, Bluetooth only. I have the actual 3G service on mine. Um, so yeah, mine, yeah, I had to add a line with my carrier. Now with this, with this watch, you can, uh, get it from your carrier. You can get it from Amazon. You get it from Best Buy. Um, it depends on where you get it from. <laughs> I just typed everything I just said, which is actually pretty damn cool. I could not find the answer to your question. I didn't even ask a question. All right. So let's see. What is the meaning of life many philosophers have thought long and hard about that question how do I get to Best Buy from here unfortunately that app is not installed please go to the app store to download how do I get to McDonald's from here I guess it's not installed Unfortunately, that is not supported. And that's my watch talking there. I thought it was my, my phone, but it's the watch. So let's get out of that. So I need to download the app just to get that going. So voice answer. Um, don't want to do that because sometimes you might get a call you don't want to talk, person you don't want to talk to. So you want to make sure that you have that off. Depends on you. Uh, we have the messages. We can send audio. You have a block list, emergency alerts. You've got, let's see. You got connections. You got Bluetooth. Now I'm gonna use my bezel. Now that's the good thing about the bezel. If you're like me, you don't want to have your watch. If you have a, like a short sleeve shirt, you don't want to have a watch on, and you got fingerprints all on the screen. You want people to see your phone, man, and your watch. I don't know why I keep calling it a phone, but it pretty much is a phone. Um, you can use your mobile network. I have AT and T for my carrier, so you can seek the number that you want to forward your your phone to. Because like I said, mine does have um, a phone number because I have the I have the actual added line from AT and T. You have the near field connectivity. So if you want to share something with either a phone or another tablet or something, you can do that. All right. Uh, also, you have your, your alerts. Receive 
disconnection alerts. You have airplane mode. So if you just don't want to get this, if you're on an airplane or if you just don't want to get like uh, disturbed, you just turn your airplane mode on, period. It doesn't use your data up. Uh, you have data usage, mobile data, data limit, usage cycle monthly, start date one. I don't, need, I don't want to mess with that right now. Usage details. Let's check out the usage details. May 1st through 31st, about 100. 68 kilobytes has been used. Data is measured by your gear. Your service provider may account for usage differently. All right, so that's cool, whatever. And you have your location, which is on, okay? And I was at the gym earlier, and I was trying to get this, and it seemed like it was doing it, but, yeah, it was off. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of that. You got security. So if you like to have screen lock, which I do, just in case something happens, you know what I mean? You might lose your watch or whatever the case is. You have your password. It's not just to keep somebody, you know, like a, a loved one out or anything like that. But it's just to make sure that your stuff is safe. Because you spend a lot of money on these devices, you want to make sure they stay safe. Uh, you have accessibility. Uh, if you're visually impaired, hearing impaired, uh, direct access. I don't know what that is. Uh, quickly triple the tap screen with two fingers. Well, my fingers are pretty big, so it's not really going to be a good thing for me to do that. All right, so let's go back out of that. We have input, which is your keyboard. Um, you got the Samsung keyboard. You got keyboard settings. Um, you have English, three times four, input languages, and it should be set on English. I can put it on Deutsch, I can put it on Espanol, and I'll still understand it. I can read it. Um, we can check for updates, which I haven't done yet. So it's going to check for updates right now. And we're going to see exactly what we've got. If we have anything at all. All languages are now up to date. Okay. So we got handwriting. So you can actually, whenever you text somebody, you can actually write on your screen, which is weird because the screen is so small. <laughs> and I have big fingers, so it's not, that is not a benefit. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, you got smart typing, predictive text. You have auto capitalize, um, auto punctuate. You got... Key tap feedback. I guess once you tap a key, it does leak like a little vibrate. Reset keyboard settings. Clear personalized data. If you want to sell your watch or whatever the case is, I guess you can do it that way. Okay, you got the power saving mode. I don't really care about that. I'll just charge my, just charge my watch. Or I just can't use my watch anymore. You got the gear info. Oh, you got about device. So you have all that good stuff like that. IMEI, all that good stuff. Report diagnose, reset gear, debugging. I guess if you want to. If you want to connect a new phone, you can do that. All right, so you got that. You got S voice, you got settings, you got your phone. If you want to call a certain person, you can do that. Boom. Just like that. Boom. You got settings, you got styles, sound, vibrations, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's go swipe down. You can check your email. You can add apps. Uh, find my phone. So let's go ahead and do the find my phone real quick. That's pretty cool. Let's try it. I don't know where my phone is. Where's my phone? There it is. Found my phone, guys. Did not know it was there. Found it. All right. So, yeah, of course, it locked itself again. Put my pen in. That gets a little annoying. Not going to lie. Let's go to the back button. Um, we have the gallery where you, if you take pictures, you can do that. If you want to share pictures from your phone, you can do that. Um, if you want to read your news from the briefing, you can do that. Let's click on it. Oops. I didn't know that was on camera. All right, so you got Selena Gomez and Weekend Delirious. You got that. You can just scroll. You can either scroll with your finger, but like I said, if you want to keep the uh, keep the screen clean, just use your bezel, which is the best on the market. I've never had a smartwatch. It's my first one, so I really can't give you any comparative uh, analysis, anything like that. Just going by what I have on this. Uh, we got 24 best Netflix original shows of all time, and you just scroll through. Boom, just like that, guys. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right now. It's probably going to be a little different on my camera. It's probably too bright. So we're going to back out of that. 
Um, you can check out previous page. Uh, you got the world clock if you want to, you know, set reminders. You want to add a city, you can do that. Uh, you want to set your alarm, you can set your alarm. Uh, you have a schedule if you want to set reminders for certain days or months or whatever the case is. Like I have appointments coming up, so I need to make sure I have that set in there. It's on my phone, but you know it's always good having your watch too. You got Alti Barometer. If you want to check your elevation, which I I can care less about this. This is a feature I'm just like okay. All right, but some people may use that. I'm I don't plan on using it at all. Um, you got reminders, so if you want to have a, a reminder on your watch, it'll tell you you know what you need to do if you forgot. Um, you got S voice, of course. You have your music player. So if you want to play music, like I was at the gym today, and I, I use uh, a music player on mine. Um, I use a Google Play. Um, and it, I can actually change for my watch. I can use it for my headset on my Bluetooth headset, or I can do it on my watch, which is pretty cool. I can look at the song and see what's playing. Sometimes I'm not even looking at my watch. I use an armband, so I can't see, see my watch unless I turn it on. Um, this, I can just look at the watch, and I can see exactly what's going on with it. All right. So you can go back to the previous page. You got settings. You have your Samsung Pay, which is cool. Um, I use it. I haven't used it yet, but I, I use it on my phone, and it's actually pretty cool. So like, I know Dunkin' Donuts, it works. Um, you have Digital Life. I guess if you want to set like your alarm from your house, if you have AT&T um, Digital Life, you can do that, which I don't. You just log in from it, from your settings right there. You have Direct TV. I guess you can... Um, You got that. I guess you can just like watch your direct TV on your. I'm not sure if you can watch it or you control it. I'm not sure. Uh, if you want to play a joke, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with this feature a little bit longer because I do have direct TV. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, living room. Oh, so I guess if you want to play, play a joke on someone. So loading failed. Um, wait a minute. What is this? We're gonna play with it here because I do have direct TV. Uh, let's go back into it. And I probably have to do something with a setting or something. Let's go master bedroom. That's where I'm at right now. Loading failed. That's not cool. So we'll figure that feature out. We'll go with it. Um, we have the S Health, which is on your uh, your Samsung phone. Um, I don't know why it keeps on doing this. You can say stuff. All right, just let you know how many calories I burned today, which I don't know how, that, how accurate that is. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I only ran for maybe like a, I didn't run very long. I did a little bit of run at the, at the on a treadmill. That's about it. Uh, you got rewards on your offer. Uh, it said I did one floor. Why does it keep doing that? I don't get that. S voice is crap, guys. That's what I've heard. I never used it, but I've heard it's crap. Uh, light jogging. You can start it. Just push pushing the play button. Um, all users, you have challenges you can do with other people. Um, does your blood pressure per minute? Uh, I did it two hours ago, and this is when I was actually on the treadmill, so I was running pretty hard. I guess you can do your water. That's pretty cool. I didn't never use that. I guess that's coffee and settings. You got your profile, health nudges, workout detection, step by step. So you want to do six thousand steps, I guess, a day. That's you can always change that. Running, cycling, um, elliptical trainer. Wow, I was on elliptical today too. Um, dynamic workout. You got help. So it's a lot of stuff. I didn't even know you can do all this. This is this is pretty cool. Uh, step target. Yeah, six thousand. We'll keep it at six thousand for now because I already went to the gym. I'm not going back. Um, floor target. Ten floors. Um, I'm gonna change that to like five or something like that because I don't have any a lot of stairs where I where I live at. It's not a lot. I live in Florida, guys. Not a lot of stairs. Auto heart rate. Let's do the auto heart rate. Um, so I guess I'll just do my heart rate repeatedly. Actually, let's go back to that. Let's see what it says. Um, auto heart rate measures your heart rate regularly and records data when you're still. All right, so if you're sitting still, you're sedentary, it's going to do your heart rate. All right, so from there, uh, water target is on. Um, one glass a day of water. Let's try to go with uh, two glasses. Let's set that. So we got two glasses set. So we're only supposed to. I'm I'm, I'm gonna drink more than that, guys. I drink way more water than that, but we're gonna do that. Uh, caffeine limit is gonna be, I guess, one cup. So we'll do that. 
I have coffee waiting for me, actually. Not a big coffee drinker, but I got coffee waiting. All right, so we got that. That's actually pretty cool, guys. I didn't even know you can do that. You got your contacts. Boom. Got your info. It's got everything, guys. Got your phone. It's got your messages. So if you're texting, it has that. has your most recent apps. Digital life. Let's go to our next page. News briefing. Let's see if we can add apps. So that's pretty cool, guys. Uh, if you have a BMW, which I do not, you can do that. You can show it on your phone as far as like the apps. My phone will turn on. I'm sure. Yep. Um, you have Lonely Planet, whatever that is. What is this? This app will be installed. Doesn't really say what it is. Like, what is the Lonely Planet? You have Art Heart, I Heart Radio. You have uh, F. I guess that's Fit Barometer. You got Know It. I don't know what that is. Hextras. Fit Evolution. G Two Web. Remote Camera Companion. I guess that's. I guess if you want to take a camera like a far away instead of having to do like a selfie have your arm stretched out or use the selfie stick i guess that'll work you have spotify um you have go fit smart caddy if you're a golfer golf navi global find my car i don't know if that's for just if you have a bmw or if your car has an app thing like that you can find your car like last night i lost my car couldn't find where i parked at i didn't remember i forgot <laughs> yeah fruit ninja um snake classic let's just use our bezel and that's the last one there. Okay. So we got those. All right. So we got that. All right. So let's go to our phone. Let's go ahead and charge our, our watch. Let's go to our phone and see what we have. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to get the app here. The gear S3 app and it lets you know a lot of stuff just on here alone. All right, so it lets you know my battery is 60%. Um, I have 2.5 gigabytes of 4 gigabytes of storage. Um, so that means I have a gig and a half free. Um, I have 5.511.6 megabytes of 768 megabytes of RAM free. You can do Samsung, um, you can app updates available. Let's view the updates. So I guess we can update some stuff, some apps that are on the phone itself, or actually, I mean, the watch. I don't want to keep calling the phone. I keep doing that. Uh, let's update all. Because the more we use it, the more we're going to know that we're going to have to use or get our apps. All right, so let's accept all. I don't really care about the updates, what's going on. I just want my stuff up to date. All right, so let's see here. All right, so we got that. We got Samsung Pay. You got the settings. So if you want to change your faces and stuff like that, but right here you have suggested. Uh, you have suggested apps. You have suggested faces, which there's a, it's a whole bunch of them, guys. You'll be here for like a good solid set of hours. You have the top 500. You have the top paid. Um, you have top free. You have the new ones. Uh, you can just scroll through like that. Or if you want to you know, be cheap like me and do the free ones, that's cool. You just filter it out like that. Just click on it. Boom. There you go. All the ones that are free. It even shows you what it uh, what it has. Uh, it's got Red Classic. It's got it's got everything, man. You just got to go through it and let everything load up. All right, so we're gonna go through that. Then you have suggested apps. These are up. These are apps that you can download for your watch. Um, you got SoundCloud. You got Social Watch. I'm not sure what that is. I guess that's gonna help if you have like Facebook, like feeds and stuff like that. Um. says check your social your social feed on watch face directly with social watch yeah i don't really need that that's whatever this has a lot of stuff that you can do a lot of stuff i'm not going to use um time maker you got know it again hextras you got gopro shutter pro and all that good stuff like that spotify smart caddy golf nav it just shows you everything in in uh, a, a bigger spot uh, it's got that mr time can be what is that that looks cool Nope, got to pay for these. They're not free. Okay, let's see here. 
So, like, if you guys were on the fence about getting this watch, let's say you have the S2. I really can't give you anything for the S2 because I don't know about the S2 because I don't have it. Um, like I said, the S3 is my first smartwatch. But uh, if you're on the fence about getting the watch, I would definitely highly encourage you to get it because it actually feels pretty good on the wrist. It's a pretty big watch. Um, it, just, it, just, it just feels great. All right, so that's what we got there on that. Let's go back. It says check your health data at a glance in Samsung Health. Let's open Samsung Health. And it's pretty cool. It just transfers everything to your watch. And like I said, I was only at the gym for a little while doing some, some cardio, not very much. All right, so you can check all your stuff there. Boom. And floors. It says I only did one floor, but I did more than one floor. I did like two or three today. Because I walked up and down my stairs a couple times. <laughs> uh, I guess you can discover people. Oh, that's for news. Okay, that's cool. Got the experts. I guess if you need a doctor, you have a question, health concern, or something like that, you can go for that. Um, together is if you have friends. Um, I have friends. What? I've got a friend? Didn't know I had a friend, guys. I feel so good. All right, so I guess it goes with your contacts. You can compete with them and follow their rankings. Uh, you can do that. I don't even know who that is. Dustin Bogan. I know he is, but that's my buddy right there. All right, so I guess, let me see, create a challenge. So I burned 1729 calories. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know how accurate that is, guys. Um, I don't know. It might be accurate. I'm not really sure. It's got to more, have more friends that are active so I can check it out and see. I don't really know. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is your settings. Um, you can change everything, like, you know, your watch faces, you can go to your notifications, you can just have everything checked or, you know, unchecked, whatever, you just slide everything over. Um, you can send content to your gear, like if you want to send a picture or something like that, you can just do that. It'll go to whatever, it can auto-sync and everything else. You can select photos to go to your gear. Um, you can find my gear. Where's my gear? I don't know where it is. Let's find it. There we go found it so if you lose your watch there you go that's how you find it so it's at 62 percent it's only got two percent um if i might wait gear screen unlock gear screen locked let's unlock that i want to keep it unlocked wait a minute wait 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 wait, wait. control remotely control your gear remotely while both your phone and gear are connected to a network or via bluetooth uh locate gear lock gear off reset gear um reactivation lock so that's if you lose your stuff i guess um, gear connection bluetooth um, use your samsung account to connect your gear remotely via mobile data sync wi-fi profiles you can do that uh, you can send quick messages via text message stuff like that uh, social network sharing um you got facebook it's turned on samsung pay samsung galaxy apps about gear all right so if you guys have any questions or any kind of tips if you want to show me if you want to see something in future videos because this is not gonna be the first or last this is actually the second it's not gonna be the last one i'll probably do some more review once we get more things once more content comes out um one feature that i like is the faces like you can just go through all the faces like if you want to look like look at something like you know oops, I'm about to drop, the, drop this tablet all right so you can go through all your faces if you want to change your your watch, it just instantly changes. Like, you can just watch it just change. If you want it, like, classy. I just don't like the ones that look like the light's on all the time. I just want it to be, like, a regular watch. And you just change it. That's all you do, guys. That's it. It's just that easy, guys. And I haven't even downloaded all the ones that I can possibly download. I like this one. This one looks pretty classy right here. Uh, I use this one on a regular basis. And, of course, my watch wanted to lock itself. <laughs> Guess I got to unlock it, I guess. All right, so there we go. It's unlocked. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch it to this one. But you guys get the idea. That's, that's how fast you can do it. It just, it just goes that quick. Okay. And that's all the features that I know of. I'm sure there's a lot more. I know that this, there's so much you can do to this watch. It's not even funny, guys. Like, yeah, it's really comfortable. And you can just do everything on your bezel. Okay. All right. So another thing you can do on your watch, like it's off right now. So if you're like, oh, what time is it? You can just flick your wrist. Well, flick your wrist and it turns on. If you're like, ah, turn off. You just flick it back the opposite direction. And it turns, well, it's making me a liar right now. Let's flick your wrist. Usually that's, it was working good yesterday, so I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, I got my always on display. That's what happened. So if I'm like, oh, I want to see what's going on. Boom, turns on. And then you just go back off like that. But I got it always, always on. So that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Definitely like to make some more videos, guys. Like the videos if you like them. Comment down below. And subscribe if you have not subscribed to the Swill Entertainment channel. Everything is very much appreciated. Everything helps out the community. Like I said, if you have any tips or any kind of hints or anything like that, make sure that you guys put those in the comments down below. And I do respond on a daily basis, so I, do, I respond pretty quick. The only time I'm not responding is when I'm asleep. That's pretty much it, guys. See you guys next time. Peace out.